Dr. Ray here, The Learning Liaisons. It is that time. I'm going to start a new tradition here with The Learning Liaisons on our YouTube We're going to have a monthly recap. We're going to celebrate all of our, well, not all of our pastors, a couple of our pastors. We get pastors every single day on our exams here at The Learning Liaisons. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to try my best each month to come on, throw a video, and I want to celebrate success. Because remember, we're all in this together, whether you're doing your praxis, uh, your SLLA, Feely, FTCE, GACE, whatever exam you're doing around the country for your teacher leadership certification, we're all in this together. We're all about pumping each other up, providing that peer support, that leadership, that, help, that assistance, that motivation, and more importantly, that attitude. Because remember, it's when you pass, not if you pass. So let's celebrate some of our successful teachers this month who rocked their exam after using our courses, and now they're able to focus on what's more important, which is teaching the kids in the classroom. Let's give a big shout out to one of our first teachers we're gonna celebrate. A big shout out to Amanda. Amanda enrolled in our subject area, K through six courses here at the Learning Liaisons. Florida peeps, if, if you are not in the state of Florida, that's our Florida teacher certification exam for elementary ed. K through six. Big shout out to Amanda. She rocked her test after learning the knowledge, skill, and attitude needed to pass this exam. And now she can focus on what's more important, moving on to the next step, whether it's another exam or teaching her kids in her classroom in the upcoming school year. Let's take a look at another successful teacher this month. I love seeing this stuff every day. Let's take a big shout out to our next teacher. All right, next up is Sierra. Sierra just passed her professional education test. So that's that last test in the series exams before she gets her professional certificate. So big shout out to Sierra. She actually enrolled two weeks before her exam. I don't really recommend that, but she put in the work. She dedicated the time needed to be successful, learned the strategies, went in there and banged that test out on the first try. Big ups to Sierra, congratulations. All right, next up is Ms. Elizabeth. Ms. Elizabeth, enrolled in our reading K through 12 test. So that's that fast track test that you can take in order to get your reading endorsement here in the state of Florida. So for our practice peeps, you have a similar exam for a reading specialist. So we've got your back. So congratulations, good job on passing that thing. This is, this is one of those exams that teachers have been in the classroom for five, 10, 20 years. Now got slapped in the face. You gotta get reading endorsement all of a sudden um, because now in the state of Florida, the, the umbrella for being read indoor, reading indoors is much bigger now. So it used to be just lower tier students. Now it's everybody across the board pretty much. So most elementary school teachers in the state of Florida now need to get their reading endorsement added to their certification. So she enrolled in our new reading K through 12 boot camp with our reading specialist, Sarah Hall, and myself made a little cameo in there to teach some strategies. And she banged that test out on the first attempt. So Good job, way to keep it going. It's all about knowledge, skill, and attitude. Let's congratulate one more teacher. Well, all right, let's shout out Wad. Wad, good job. Wad was enrolled in our Praxis Core Math Bootcamp with our math director, Anderson Duran, and he went through the bootcamp, learned all the skills that are covered on the core math exam for Praxis, and he went on that and banged out that exam. So a lot of people struggle on all these exams, whether it's Florida, Praxis anywhere across the United States because it's not how hard you prep. It's how you prep It's all about targeting the specific content and strategy needed to pass these exams on the first attempt So big ups to Wad. Good job Keep fighting the good fight and move on to those next core exams and those next practice exams and on to what is more important that kids in the classroom So just wanted to throw a couple people. I'm gonna to try to do this each month I really want to start celebrating those teachers because every day we get the emails the text messages the Facebook posts, the reviews from teachers just like you that were struggling on their exams, got in the right place, got the right resources, and went out there, studied the right way, and went out and passed their exam on the next attempt. So here at The Learning Liaisons, we focus on giving you the knowledge, skill, and attitude to go out there and rock these exams. Now, we are not a study guide company. We don't pump out books. We don't teach from books. We are real, authentic teachers that we bring on content specialists in their field and they deliver engaging video courses that cover all of the skills that the testing company and your, your Department of Education say are gonna be on your exam. So no fluff, no extra material, down to brass tacks, down to exactly what you need to save time, 
save energy and save those high levels of anxiety, which I know I've been through it myself. These tests can be a pain in the butt and confusing, but we've got your back. We're gonna clear out the confusion. Keep fighting the good fight. And remember, it's when you pass, not if you pass your certification exams. Dr. Ray here, CEO of The Learning Liaisons, and we'll catch you in the next video. Any questions, comments, concerns, please post those in the comment box below this video. I definitely wanna hear from you. Let me know what you're struggling in and what we can do to help support you in your certification journey. So have a great rest of your day, a great evening, an amazing week, and an awesome weekend, and we'll catch you in the next video.